Welcome everyone to Kick Time Story Time. I am Red Bear, and as you may already be aware, I like to introduce all the stories that involve the color red because I am the official representative of the color red on Kick Time Story Time. So, without further ado, I am proud to present Little Red Riding Hood. Oh no no no, Red Bear! It's not Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> it's Little Red. Riding Hood? Oh, oh, I read too fast. It's okay, that happens. Uh, wait, is this one of those <gasps> twisted fairy tales? You know, the one that's like kind of like Red Riding Hood, but with a twist. That's exactly what it is. Oh, I love these. Me too. Okay, okay. Presenting without further ado, Little Red Riding Hood. That was a very good introduction very strong. Uh, because it is little red rhyming hood, I don't have a hood, but I will put on this hat so I can be in the spirit of little red riding hood. Okay, it's all set. Hope it doesn't squeeze my brain too much so I can read. Okay, here we go. Little red rhyming hood from one of our favorite authors. Sue writes the best books and the best rhymes, so I can't wait to see what she's come up with here. Once there was a girl who spoke only in rhyme, and this drew some attention. Want to ride the swings with me? Race our bikes or climb a tree? Oh, isn't she cute? Look at all the friends are playing. This guy's playing basketball, and these guys are on the seesaw. And who is this? Hmm. He doesn't look like he's staring at her kindly. Look, everybody, the sad little rhymer has no friends. Teased Big Brad Wolf. Ugh. You don't bother me, Big Brad. Nasty words won't make me sad. But his words did bother her. Mm. One day, after playing at the park, she said to her grandma, I wish I was not this way. May I hide in here today? To cheer her up, grandma sewed her a cozy red hooded sweatshirt. This new hoodie looks just right. I shall wear it day and night. She wore it everywhere she went, and so she became known as Little Red Rhyming Hood. Now, every day after school, Little Red walked straight to Grandma's house, and every day, Brad Wolf tried to scare her. Boo! boomed Brad. Gotcha, Little Red. You couldn't scare me if you tried. Stop it, Brad. Now step aside. <laughs> Brad. One afternoon, Grandma showed Little Red a flyer for a poetry contest. Ooh, wait, what does Grandma have here? Ooh, is that a little, a little coffee for her? Looks like a little cafecito. Looks like a little Cuban coffee to me because it's tiny. And it looks like a nice tall glass of orange juice for, for Little Red. Mmm, Grandmas always have the best snacks. Maybe I'll meet kids like me who also speak in poetry. Yes, Grandma, poetry contest, good thinking. Oh, Grandmas are the best. Little Red practiced each day while she walked. On the day of the contest, she was so focused on her poem that she didn't hear Brad sneak up behind her. Grrr, he growled. Eee! Red shrieked. Sweet sonnets, Brad, you startled me. Were you crouched behind that bush? For the first time ever, Red didn't rhyme. <gasps> what is happening? Yes, I really scared you good. Now who's brave, Red Rhyming Hood? <gasps> and for the first time ever, Brad did. So she didn't rhyme and he did? What's happening? It's like a Freaky Friday moment. Leaping limerick, said Little Red. You scared the rhyme right out of me and into you. And the poetry contest is tonight. Help me, make it go away. I don't want to rhyme all day. Hmm, <laughs> serves you right, Brad. Maybe I'll help you, said Red. But there's no time to fix this before the contest. So first, you just need to go help me win it. Red, I don't think I can wait. Shh, I need to concentrate. Hey, said Brad. We rhymed just then. Holy haiku, where's my pen? 
So the two wrote a poem together. At the contest, they got on stage and took turns saying each line. Red began. Once there was a girl named Red, who spoke the verses in her head. A wolf named Brad thought this was strange. He teased her, though she could not change. Could he, couldn't he just leave her be? Well, he liked her company. He was hurtful and unkind. Soon, this put him in a bind. He scared the rhyme from her to him. Everything was looking grim. Red began to miss her verse, and causing that made Brad feel worse. Could the two undo the swap? Switch things back or make it stop? Neither one could just sit by, so together they would try. Maybe they would make amends. Could these enemies be friends? Then Brad and Red grabbed hands and took a bow. The audience cheered and howled with delight. <sighs> bravo, bravo. <sighs> the two new friends left with the winning trophy. Brad was so excited that he actually gave little Red a big hug. Wow, what a turn of events. I feel different. Something's changed. Have our rhyming ways exchanged? W wanna write again sometime? Only if we write in rhyme. Do, 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 do. And look at that. And they rhymed happily ever after. <sighs> look at that. An act of kindness right there. That is the way to deal with a situation, isn't it? Oh man, I totally didn't see that coming. I thought that 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 the bad Brad Wolf was gonna be me forever, but then she she was patient, and then there was magic, and then they turned into friends, and it was awesome. And I want to thank everybody, and I want to once again emphasize that red books are the very best book in the world. And I want to emphasize also, yeah, well that that in this case she took. Um, Basically, what was a big bully. Yeah, he was a big bully. Boo! Boo, Brad! But then he changed. Yeah, because, oh, because he walked in her footsteps, like in her rhymy word footsteps. That's exactly what happened. It's a good way of putting it, even though you can't walk in rhyme. But yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. And the point is, is that when you walk in somebody's footsteps, you get to understand them and then you become friends instead of being mean to them. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I mean. That's a really good lesson. Also, it was really good rhyming. Uh, I, I wish I could be rhyming all the timing. Yeah, that was really good. Well, you can work on that. See you next time, kid. Where else? Where we are always piled high with books on Kid Time Story Time. Mm -hmm.